Hello and welcome to Virtuos. I needed a ballista for our D&D game, so I just decided to build one. The whole project is done with XPS foam. I cut a random amount of planks so that when I start assembling the piece I don't have to go back to texturing and cutting. I started by sculpting the foam with these small nooks that work as joints between the wooden planks and give some detail into it. The texturing was done with only the knife, no aluminum foil here. I've previously made a catapult with the same techniques, but I unfortunately didn't film that. These more detailed parts in the ballista make it look more realistic. I also cut some pieces off the top part to make it not look only just like a straight wooden plank. These kind of builds are fun since they can be used for terrain in a normal D&D setting, but also as war machines in war games that don't require specific models. For example, I've used the catapult in the Oathmark and I believe this ballista will be used there too. I also cut a small area for the curved part to fit into. I decided to try out hot glue for the ropes and I think it works well enough. They are always just basic XPS foam, no special tricks there. I added random small parts around the piece for detail. I also added thin slabs of foam on the support pillars and pinched them around with pinchers to make it look like a metal that has been smithied to support this beam. For the paint job I started with a bit too orange color but ended up repainting it with more Van Dyke brown style after the first coat was dry. The metallic parts are painted with a light gray color and brought to life with just white dry brushing. I added some detail with white paint from the tip of my knife to bring some detail into it. Last but not least, uh, I dry brushed all the wooden parts with a light brown and white. Thank you for watching and I'll hope to see you next time. Bye!